A sixth candidate has entered the race to replace Premier Gordon Campbell. Parksville, Parksville Mayor Ed Main threw his hat into the ring this morning. But Main will have his work cut out for him because it's comments from front runners that had everyone talking today. Kevin Falcon is drawing fire for suggesting teachers be paid based on their job performance. And George Abbott wants another referendum on another controversial BC tax. A News Legislature reporter Shachi Curl has more. Already considered a potentially divisive figure in the Liberal leadership race, Kevin Falcon has opened up a policy chasm by suggesting teachers should be paid based on how well they do their job. I want to have the opportunity for teachers to be recognized as master teachers or teacher mentors or whatever term you wish to give to it, but that recognizes and rewards the fact that they go that extra step. It's a shot at the teachers union which has shared nothing but bad blood with the BC Liberals. The toxic relationship came to a head with a bitter strike in 2005. Today the BC Teachers Federation is slamming the idea. The idea that Kevin Falcon has floated has no uh, no substance to it. It may be Falcon has only served to divide the Liberal leadership pool on this issue. Merit pay for teachers, I think, is is uh, not the way that I would proceed. Indeed, with the race on to capture the attention and the imagination of would-be and current Liberal members, listening appears to be the line of the day. Just listen to Parksville's Ed Main, the newest candidate to the race. I'm concerned, like I know many other British Columbians are, that the government has stopped listening to the people. But Maine's voice may be drowned out by the big guns with bigger ideas. From George Abbott promising to add a question on the future of the B.C. carbon tax to the HST referendum. And this is a very significant question for all British Columbians. Like the HST, it will impact every family in this province. To his pledge to review the BC Rail legal settlement that cost taxpayers six million dollars. Fellow candidate Mike DeYoung who signed off on that deal points out a review is already underway. He was busy today promising smaller government and more transparency around spending and lobbying. These are difficult times and we need to demonstrate as leaders are prepared that we are prepared uh, to take uh, difficult steps. But over the next month, what they say may be less critical to their political fortunes than how many members they sign up by the deadline, February 4th. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.